Hi folks, it's just me once again, your friendly neighborhood, Walter Shepard. Um, that ding you may have heard is uh, is my lunch getting ready, but I will just let it cool down for now. Um, basically, um, I am um, answering a request. Someone had uh, asked me to speak about something, and again, <clears throat> for, uh, for any new subscribers and any old subscribers, you know that... Um, if, uh, if there's anything you'd like me to uh, to uh, rant on about or blather on about or speak about, um, I, I, I am more than willing to do that. I am not an expert in the Bible. I am not um, a trained um, seminarian. But I have been a Christian um, since the early 80s, uh, 1981, and I've read the Bible uh, four times, working on my fifth time. Um, and some of the books of the Bible, like uh, Proverbs and, and Psalms, I've read um, hundreds of times, um, even thousands of times, um, as, as, as well as the New Testament. Um, a lot of the books in there I've read um, hundreds of times. Um, but overall, from cover to cover, the Bible itself, only four times. But a lot of the books, um, it's in there hundreds of times. Um, because I've been reading the Bible um, since the uh, since since the 80s, so um, again I'm no expert, but um, I have read the Bible and um, I have, uh, as as the Bible says, I have hidden God's word in my heart, and I have discovered that in reading the whole Bible, the entire Bible, whenever something does come along. Um, in life that um, perplexes me or, 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 or has a potential of causing stress or, or questions or whatever, um, whatever situation comes along, the Holy Spirit um, can bring up a passage of the Bible that uh, pertains to that particular situation that I'm going through. So that's one of the encouragements I give to my fellow servants out there, um, is read the Bible, um, the whole Bible, from beginning to end, um, Old Testament and New Testament. Because whenever a situation in life comes up that you don't have the answer to, the Holy Spirit can always bring to mind um, part of the Word of God that can help you in that particular situation. So anyway, um, a lot of what I'm speaking about um, is based on the visions and the dreams that I've had. Um, since 1995, um, and this particular subject matter is about the robes. Someone had asked me uh, about the robes or about the clothes uh, that we will be wearing um, after the rapture. And uh, when I speak about um, future events and stuff like that, uh, I should clarify that I'm speaking about two different um, realms of existence that you, um, servants of the Lord, will get to explore. Um, one, you will get to explore um, eternity, um, which is heaven. And the other one is um, the, uh, the universe that we're in now, um, the universe of time and space. And um, that is separate. Um, eternity and time and space, they're both separate realms, but we will be able to uh, 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 travel back and forth in between them um, at the speed of thought. Um, once, once the rapture happens, we will be in heaven for um, the equivalent of what could be considered seven earth years. Although in heaven, um, there is no measurement of time. We won't feel the passage of time. We will be in eternity. Um, in other words, um, we could be doing um, a thousand years worth of things in heaven, but meanwhile on earth, only five years could go by, only seven years could go by. Um, after the rapture, between the rapture and the time we, um, we get to come back down to earth for the thousand years of peace, we could be doing a thousand years worth of things um, in, that, in that particular span of time. Um, because uh, in, in, in heaven we're not bound by time. Uh, we, could, we could be doing, like I keep saying, we could be doing so many things in heaven. Um, but uh, meanwhile, back down here on earth, um, time goes by one second after another. And so when we get to heaven, or actually when we hear the trumpets, when our bodies um, are regenerated, when they become raptured, we will be getting our eternal robes then. And the robes that I've seen in the visions, because I've started writing a, a book about that, or actually I wrote a novel about that. I'm just working on the final draft right now. 
um, with the visions that I got during the 90s while I was writing it, is the robes that we're going to be getting. Um, there are two kinds of robes, two kinds of robes basically. The robes that are specifically custom made for the servants of the Lord, and then the robes that are given to uh, to the other flock. Um, I've, I've talked about uh, I've, I've talked before about how during the time of the rapture, um, Jesus is going to be collecting his two flocks, uh, the main flock and the other flock. The main flock are the servants of the Lord, uh, the body of Christ, the bride of Christ, and each of those servants will get a specific robe designed, custom designed, just for them. Whereas the other flock, um, they they won't be there at the at, at 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 the head table during the wedding feast. They will be in the audience. Um, they won't be getting any any rewards or treasures or mansions or anything like that. But they will be getting a robe of salvation. And all their robes um, basically all look the same um, for those for those particular uh, people that that make it in the rapture. For those of the other flock those that will be in the audience at the wedding ceremony. But for you wise wise virgins, you prayer warriors, you watchmen, you servants of the Lord, you're going to be getting a custom-made robe that is designed just for you. And each of them are, are different from what I've seen um, in, in, in the visions in, in, in my head. Um, each of them are different. Um, some of them look like elegant um, uh, 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 robes, some of them for the women look like dresses, elegant dresses. Um, they're, they're, they're all made out of the same material. They're all that glowing, eternal material, but um, they're all custom They're all custom made. Some look like uh, uh, that, uh, superhero outfits, um, some look, look like um, elegant um, uh, formal uh, f formal wear. Um, some of them look, 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 look just like robes. But again, um, the, 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 the stitching in them is different. Um, the, the, the cuts of the sleeves are different. Um, some have capes, some have, uh, some don't. Some look like, uh, again, some, some look, look, look just like regular robes. But again, uh, the, the, the stitching is different. Um, the, the, the leggings are different. Um, the cuts are different. And to go uh, with them um, as, as part of your, your gifts will be um, shoes um, and, 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 and other sort of um, things like that there. Again, for some of the servants, um, that they, they'll be getting a robe uh, with pants or with shirts, um, with, with, with undergarments or, or, or whatever. Again, your rewards, your gifts, your treasures are different. Um, each of them are different and they're based on um, your service to the Lord. Um, some, some servants, um, they've done more for the kingdom of God, in which case the Lord is going to be giving, giving them more treasures, more rewards, and, um, and, 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 and things like that. But everybody will be getting a robe, and everybody will be getting a crown. Some will just get one crown, and some will get five crowns. Again, depending on your relationship with the Lord and how much work uh, you have done for the, uh, for the kingdom of God. Um, but um, uh, in, in terms of the robes, yes, okay. Um, these robes are all made out of the same heavenly stuff, um, and when we uh, when we come back down to the earth on the new earth during the thousand years of peace, um, this is where um, the 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 matter, the property of that material, um, is going to really show itself. Because <clears throat> um, what I've seen, when we're down here on the new earth during the thousand years of peace. Um, let's just say, for example, um, um, you could be running in a field of mud or in a swamp and the, uh, the, the dirt and the grime and stuff like that, it won't adhere to the material because uh, the material can exist in time and space, but it's made out of material that um, is, is, is heavenly, that is of eternal matter. So the earthly matter, the time-space matter, um, it won't stick to it. So you could you you could take a swim in a swamp, and none of that material, none of that grime will will stick to you. It won't stick to your eternal skin. Um, it, it 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 won't stick to your to your robes. And if you were at a dinner table, um, and you were reaching over and say say your robe has 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 long sleeves, 
if you were reaching over to grab something, your robe would just pass through um, anything. Um, it, it would just pass through the salt shaker. It wouldn't knock the salt over. So sometimes your robe will, um, will, 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 will interact with the time-space material, and sometimes it won't. Sometimes it'll just pass through. Um, let's say, for instance, um, if, you were, uh, if you were at the bottom and looking up at an avalanche, um, you and your material um, would just have all these rocks, all, all these rocks would fall through you. They would pass right through you, except for the little stones and, 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 and pebbles. The harmless stuff would just bounce right off you. The bigger harmful stuff will pass right through your body, whereas the tiny stuff will just bounce right off. And so it's, um, it's going to be an amazing thing. And as Jesus um, showed us, um, when he had his resurrected body and his resurrected clothes, um, he was still able to eat. He was still able to interact with, um, with, uh, 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 with, with the time-space universe because he was, he was cooking um, fish on the beach. And so he could still enjoy the taste of food, uh, but he was still made of eternal matter. And when he was walking on the road to Emmaus, he was able to change his appearance. Um, and so people, or, or his, 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 his disciples didn't recognize him. So exactly how that was done, I have no idea. Either, either he, 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 he um, uh, uh, morphed or shape-shifted into um, somebody that looked totally different, or he was able to uh, change his perception from the minds of his disciples, so they didn't, so they didn't recognize him. But that particular ability comes in handy during the Thousand Years of Peace. Because as the population grows, at the beginning of the Thousand Years of Peace, there's going to be only about 5,000 flesh and blood people. Uh, 5,000 people, or yeah, 5,000 people that are going to survive Armageddon. And as they grow, as, as the population grows, um, the, the city is going to grow, the, 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 the technology is going to grow. So during the Thousand Years of Peace, there's going to be two kinds of human. Um, the flesh and blood people, those are the survivors of Armageddon. They have flesh and blood like we have right now. They have skin, they have uh, the blood, they have muscles, um, and, 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 and they're prone to injury. As that population grows, they're going to be um, uh, ruled by, by Jesus, of course, and Jesus' servants, um, the apostles, as well as you, servants of the Lord. You're going to be helping to rule and reign during the thousand years of peace. So there's going to be two kinds of human beings there, um, the, the, the flesh and blood people, as well as you um, regenerated servants. And you regenerated servants, as Jesus did, um, you could change your appearance. You could take off your glow um, and, 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 and you could um, appear as one of them. So you could have your heavenly appearance, your, your, your glowing light appearance, or you could um, appear just as a regular human being. And so as the population grows during the thousand years of peace, um, you, could, um, you could become uh, what you could, um, or, or, or what could be considered a superhero. Um, your superhero form is your regenerated form, your, 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 your heavenly form with eternal matter. You will have that glow, you will have um, your, your robe in, that, that, that will look, uh, for some of you, like, uh, like, like superhero gear um, or, or superhero outfits. Um, that will be your, your superhero appearance. But if you want to just work um, every day in a, an office building um, with some of the regular people, again, you can remove your glow and appear just like one of them. You, you can appear as, as, as a flesh human being just to, just to interact with them, just to be around them, um, just to see what they're up to, just to help them uh, uh, live daily godly lives. Um, and then if any of your friends that you're working with um, daily ever gets, gets it, get into trouble, you can easily um, uh, change from your um, fleshly appearance to your eternal appearance. So there'll be a lot of things that, that you servants can do um, with your robe. Um, as, 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 as Revelation tells us, um, we will be getting new robes. Um, I think that's Revelation 6.11 or something like that. Um, it, it's, it's, it's in one of the letters to the churches, because uh, all the letters to the churches, um, they always end with, uh, with, with, one, with um, a gift that is going to be given to a servant of the Lord. And one of those gifts are robes. 
So I think that's about it for now um, that I can speak about in terms of robes and in terms of duties um, that we will be doing during the Thousand Years of Peace. Um, uh, but before we come down here during the Thousand Years of Peace, um, we can be in heaven. Uh, we can be in eternity and we could be um, enjoying uh, the various um, levels um, or the various heavenlies. Um, if you read the book of Enoch, um, you will see that there are um, ten levels of heaven. And starting in heaven, heaven itself, where, where, where the city is, um, that is the first level, um, or the first heavenly. Um, and there are nine others. The tenth level of heaven is the, um, is the presence of God himself. So not everybody um, can uh, go into that particular realm. Um, the people of the other flock, those with ordinary robes, um, they will be granted only access to the first level. The other, um, the other eight levels are um, reserved for um, the servants of the Lord, um, for, the, uh, for the wise virgins, for the prayer warriors, um, and, and, and for the watchmen. Um, again, access to those other levels, again, are part of the gifts and part of the treasures and, and part of the rewards. Not every servant of the Lord is going to be granted access to those various levels. Again, um, your treasures and rewards are based on how much you've done for the kingdom, how much of the Bible you know, how deep your relationship with the Lord is, um, how much you, you, you pray um, with them or pray to them um, or, or um, whether or not you're a, in continual prayer. Anyway, this is about to end. Uh, my time is almost up um, with this new way of recording things. So, um, so that's it. I hope I, I answered your question. Um, take care, stay in prayer. We'll see you in Jesus' kingdom somewhere over there or maybe even somewhere up in the air um, with your new robes. Okay, um, we'll, we'll talk to you later. See you at the Eastgate, Eastgate Meetup. Um, okay, uh, remember, Jesus rules. <laughs>